Hey developers, if you've been following the JavaScript frameworks out there, you've probably heard people talk about Vue.js. And one thing I've heard a lot is people saying that no one uses Vue.js and that there is no jobs for it. So today I'm going to take a look at a few websites that are using Vue.js. I'm going to look at different resources that list Vue.js websites. And we're going to take a look at and see, is there really no websites that use it? Also, if you stick all the way to the end, I have a special surprise, so please stay tuned. Hey everybody, before we begin, let me just remind everybody, Udemy is having a 90% off sale. You can go ahead and click on the links below. I have a link to my favorite Udemy course for Vue.js, so check that out. So here I am and the Vue.js website. This is called Awesome Vue. It's a GitHub site that lists a bunch of different apps and websites that are using Vue.js. So obviously there is a lot of interest, definitely a lot of interest. A lot of Chinese sites are using it. Uh, you can see here it has a ton listed. And by the way, in the same, I'll add this into the links below, but it also has books. And if you look at the book listing right here at the top, you can say, oh look, Vue.js in action. That's my book. If you guys are interested in learning Vue, sorry, one more plug since we're on here. I have this Vue.js in action book. The first five chapters are out. It's actually in early access. I'm creating a chapter uh, pretty much to every two or three weeks I get another chapter done. So if you wanna check it out, I'm trying to make the best book possible. So I'm getting a lot of feedback from people. I'm updating the chapters and it's well worth it. Going back to the list here, so there's a lot of different websites that are using Vue.js. If uh, one website I like that lists it out is this called madewithvuejs.com. It has a link to different uh, plugins, news uh, frameworks, Laravel, screencasts, tutorials, but one category is websites. So you can see here there's different websites people have created. Um, let's say here's CodeShip. If I visit the website, it'll bring it up here. This was created in Vue. So this is a pretty big website. If we go back, we can see that uh, Leap Spot Leap. If we look at visit that site, it's, it'll load up. It's also made in Vue.js. So I, I think this definitively answers that there is quite a few websites that are using Vue.js. Let's just keep looking around a little bit. Uh, Vue.js Cinema. Some of these are just like little hobby sites. Some of these are businesses, but I don't know you can see here. People are pulling information. Um, learn to build me. Looks like this guy used some um, resources for Vue.js. You can kind of get an idea of how he did it. Another site I like to look at is this Vue.js.examples.com. So this is really cool. It has a bunch of examples of people using Vue.js for different uh, little snippets and projects. Like if you click on calendar. You see, this is a Vue.js component for Bootstrap Date Time Picker, component for Flat Picker. So if I click on this, you can see, you can download it. Uh, flat Picker Date Time. It's on GitHub, which is great. Lots of ads, but you can probably ignore most of those. Let's take a look at charting. Yeah, tons of charts. So component of chart is implemented. It's kind of cool that people have been able to to get all this working. You can click on the GitHub. You have a download like this one's really well done. It has a really well done website. It tells you the compatibility. So that works out really well. Uh, let's take a look at what else we can see here. I'm gonna go. So some some bigger websites like Vice uses Vue, which is pretty cool. You know, I know part of Facebook's UI, they actually used Vue for some of it. Rocket Man is a low energy nickname for a Manchester Insult comic. So that's really cool that they're using Vue here. Uh, let's see your terminal Reddit. Oops. So here is terminal Reddit. Welcome to the terminal Reddit. Don't let your memes be dreams. You can browse Reddit posts by using a terminal-esque interface. Let's try this out, list. Help. 
So I can move to a subreddit. So let's move to slash r slash gifs. It's clear. Move to gifs. Here they are. So ls works too. Um, how do I go to one of these? I guess you, you can just click on any of them. Building class Mexico. You need to allow pop-ups to view command for work. Okay, so you can... If I had pops and pop-ups enabled, I'd be able to go to this website. So let's take a look. What else do we have in here? Weekend half prices, the Jolly Shopper. You know, one of the reasons that view is becoming so popular lately is that it's just so easy to start with. It has very little build-up time. You can just start creating websites right away. I mean, the directives make it really simple, but if you are really into JSX, you could still use JSX, so it has a lot of flexibility. Vue CLI makes it really simple to, to create the scaffolding and everything for your website really quickly. So those are all really good things. I know this Hacker News is a pretty, this is a, a Hacker News implementation using Vue.js. There's a few of these. I'm not sure if this is the one that I've seen yet. I don't know if I've seen this one. So very cool. All right, so these are just a, a few uh, websites that are using Vue.js. I just wanted to go over a few of them. So now, if you stick it all the way, stuck all the way to the end of this video, this quick video here, I do have one thing I want to show, and that is to give away my one-year subscription to Front End Masters. So if you go to frontendmasters.com, you can go to slash courses. They have tons of courses that you can learn about you can see they just redesigned the website looks great looks great in mobile too so I if you don't know a couple uh, last week I was asking for people to join my mailing list and to comment on some of my YouTube uh, YouTube videos to win a free chance at a one-year subscription to front-end masters I went ahead and through went through all the signups and I have picked a winner and the winner is Lewis Long. So thank you so much. If Lewis, if you're watching right now, please send me an email. You can see it on my GitHub page. If not, I will send you a message on YouTube letting know that you won. I'll need to get some information from you. So once again, thank you. If you like these type of videos, click that subscribe button. That really helps me out. And also click that bell button. Thanks. Take care.